we've got a whole variety of different machines, some of them dating back to about 1880. <laughs> People have taken this on board as a leisure activity and more modern machines built purely for the leisure side of it, which is big business abroad in Europe. I actually started when the tour was on last year. I'd chosen this 15 metre wall at City Suite and I thought I'm going to make this like a feat of endurance because it's a feat of endurance for cyclists. So I thought I'm going to cut out one for each cyclist. Today we have a Velocipede festival. We've got eight beers on, which have all been cycled here from local breweries. A bicycle-powered blacksmith's forge and bicycle-powered amplifier with live music on the stage. The Grand Depart in York coincides with the 70th anniversary of the 2,500 French airmen arriving. York has this very, very special historic the French. Petit France, as it was called during the war. an application to do a steampunk fashion show. They agreed to give us money to build a steampunk back into a small display. The idea I had in my head was this sort of flowing sort of shape that was low at the front and high at the back. Mmm, I've got to get off now. My painting that we broke down into 321 metre square panels. People of York have come along and painted a metre square piece each. It was good fun. Meeting all the other people really. Different abilities and different ages. It's great to be part of doing something little that ends up being something big all together. It's called the Road Through York. It's got all York's landmarks on, seen from a York resident's point of view. Yeah. just to stop people throwing them in the river. Looks like it works. The reason I'm out is I want to speak to all the stewards personally so that they know exactly what the issues are that we've identified. Then I know they've been told what needs to do. These should be on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Cancelled. <laughs>